that go real. I ride in it's a big tall hills, big black checks, big large bills, burn out fifth like ten car wheels. What is up, TM Mafia? I'm back with another video. And as you can tell from the title, today I'll be showing you guys my Netflix suggestions, my Netflix series that I'm currently watching. Some of them on this list I'm not even watching right now, but they are really good shows that I've watched before, and I think you guys will love them. Because I understand that everyone is basically on quarantine right now because of the whole episode that's going on. Like me personally, I've been stuck in my house for like two weeks, for like two weeks straight all day every single day and i've had nothing better to do so i'm just on my phone 24 7 watching netflix series and shows if movies, you haven't already go stuff. ahead and like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends and family and if you don't have me on my socials the link will be in the description my socials will be in the description if you haven't seen my video that i uploaded like a couple days ago go ahead and check it out the link will also be in the description box down below and if you guys would like to see more uh hair routines hair videos and stuff like that just let me know and without further ado let's get on to the video okay. i did write everything down on this notepad i think there's at least like 10 tv shows on here i think 10 but the first on my list is Grey's anatomy that's only the first on the list because that's what I am currently watching right now. Like, and I am obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. If you're into the medical field, into watching surgeries and stuff like that, then you should really watch Grey's Anatomy. I, me watching it, I feel like I'm a doctor already. I think it actually helps you understand like the human body and stuff like that. But that's just me personally. I don't know if everyone thinks the same. But if you're not okay with watching like violence and blood, like there's a lot of gore in this TV show, like a lot of violence and bloody episodes, all that. It has at least like 15 seasons and at least like 20 episodes per season. So it's going to keep you busy. But yeah, if you're into that medical stuff, then go ahead and watch Grey's Anatomy. You'll really enjoy it. Next on my list is All American okay all american i don't know if you guys know what it is but it's basically i feel like it teaches you a lesson about racism and colorism and stuff like that because it's like there's so much racism still going on in this world today and people fail to like pay attention to that they fail to like actually see that but in this tv show it actually points it out and it shows you like all the bad that can be in this world but then it also shows you that like it balances out because there's good and bad not everyone pays attention to your race your skin color and all that but then again there's going to be some people some people there's always some people that just gets bothered by it so it really pretty much balances out but there is a lot of game violence and it's about this boy who like loves football most of them on like this show love football and they love watching it, playing it. And I'm not even gonna spoil it too much for you guys cause I want you guys to check it out yourself. I don't wanna be a spoiler. But if you're into football, into like the black community, into stuff like that, then you should watch All American. It has at least like two seasons. Yeah, the second season just came out like not too long ago and I am in love with it. Next is Lucifer. I know the name sounds terrible like who wants to watch a show about the devil but it's not even like that it's like I think it's very interesting to watch and it shows you this man who just transformed into the devil but when it's necessary Let, let's say he's fighting a villain or something yeah he's gonna turn into the devil to show them what's up like but besides that it's a pretty good show and he is not gonna get into that but lucifer is not ugly and it has like four seasons in it and i binge watch it all the time i think it's worth binge watching i will like continue to watch it over and over again another season is coming out soon i don't know when but it's coming out soon but yeah if you're into that type of stuff like action and like superheroes and stuff then yeah lucifer you should watch lucifer next is on my block on my block consists of like three seasons and it's about a group of friends who like adventure and sort of like it has crime and stuff in it drama it's basically like any regular series that keeps you occupied and interested if you're into like investigations and stuff like that i think you should watch on my block i've like i just started watching on my block but i have finished all three seasons I think it's very interesting and it does have gang violence too 
it has crime it has i think it's more of a comedy like me personally i feel like it's more of a comedy i laugh a lot watching it but then again that's just the type of person i am because i laugh at violence what um <laughs> next is riverdale riverdale also has three seasons i believe and riverdale is sort of like on my block except like they're more mature like the group of friends i think they're older in there and it's more mature content than on my block um riverdale does have crime it does have violence it has gore too but it's like more mature than on my block if that makes sense so if you're into that type of stuff they're both in, around the same like type of content then you should watch both of them binge watch both of them it'll be worth it next is the fosters the fosters has like five seasons i haven't watched the fosters in a long time because i have finished all seasons and they just stopped showing it but it's about like a group of kids like all of them are foster children but they're adopted into the same family and they're all basically siblings and they go through life together basically they go through all the drama fights they go through all the happy things together like they go through everything together as a family and i think it's a beautiful show i think it, but it does has a lot of sentimental parts so like if you're a crybaby like me you're probably gonna cry a lot but besides that i think it's a great show and you guys should watch it next is jane the virgin okay this show is kind of crazy it's it has five seasons as well this one is like it's about this girl who ends up being pregnant but she doesn't even like do anything like she has no type of intercourse or anything and she just gets pregnant because um she went to the doctors and they accidentally like you know the thing where they inseminate you i think that's what it's called don't roast me if that's not what it's called because i probably sound so dumb but they like inserted you know a child into her like the sperm into her egg and so she just ends up pregnant and then she's freaking out because she's thinking like wow i've never done anything so how am i pregnant and then she meets the baby daddy like the person who got her pregnant like whose sperm they injected into her and they just start talking and stuff and then they turn like they, they get into a relationship and it's just a lot going on into that show it's like two different families just coming together they have fights come together fights come together basically like any regular family and it's just really interesting like it keeps you on your toes because it has a lot of like surprises it has a lot of like whoa moments like things you were never expecting but yeah, i'm not gonna get too much into it it's gonna ruin the whole show next is vampire diaries if you like supernatural things like vampires, werewolves, all that, then you should watch Vampire Diaries. I fell in love with Vampire Diaries on the first episode because it's like, it's kind of like an eye opener because I don't really like supernatural things because I am a wuss. Like I am scared of everything. So I don't really like scary movies and stuff like that. But when I first started watching Vampire Diaries, yeah, there's little pop-ups, but it's more of a, I feel like it's more of a thriller than a horror, like, kind of show. It just keeps you anticipated. It, like, catches you out of nowhere on certain parts. Like, something will probably jump at you while you're watching it, but besides that, it's very interesting, and it keeps me, like, on my toes. I love watching it, and the, like, characters are amazing. I love the drama in it and all that next is the show called you it has two seasons and this is for the people that are more into obsession type of shows like you know how like there's a dude he's obsessed with the female he'll do anything to have her like even kill her family members to get to her like yeah this one is crazy this is for my psychopaths out there like me but <laughs> yeah you is crazy like it has a lot of obsession in it and this dude is like not normal at all all right next is insatiable i think that's how you pronounce it it also has two seasons but it's about this girl who used to be like rich, like obese she was like very unhealthy as a child and then out of nowhere she just gets healthy and she's like super slim and she gets modeling um roles everybody wants to hire her as a model like da da looks really do deceive but it's like it's basically the show shows you that oh um 
you have to look a certain way for society to want you, for society to admire you. And I feel like that's the moral of the show to show you how society can really be. Because after she got super slim and healthy, like everybody, every model agent, agency wanted her. But the thing about her is she's a murderer. Like she kills for a living. Like she just likes the feel of killing people. And she doesn't even intend to do it. It's just more, I feel like it's more of an accidental thing because she just kills people that get in her way. That doesn't sound accidental at all. I just... Yeah, just ignore that. But that's basically the point of the show. And that is all for you guys. If you enjoyed this list, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to check out my last video. It will be in the description box. If you don't have me on my socials, follow my socials. Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. And let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see more. And you can DM me. And that's all for this video. I will see you guys in my next video.